Hello Dinkum fans and welcome back to yet another video here on the channel. Y'all I have I've either broken myself or <laughs> I'm just completely insane. But I wanted to do something very simplistic and something very common. But I still think very aesthetic and very very pleasing. And that's a land bridge. And when you think about it, there are plenty of bridge options in Dinkum. However, I wanted to do something just a little bit different than your common garden variety bridge. I wanted to really up my terraforming game. And y'all, you know, when I say this, this improved dirt printer situation that we have in Dinkum and this compactor this would bring Animal Crossing to the next tier <laughs> so that being said I decided I wanted to do a diagonal situation because those of you that know me know my love of diagonal bridges also this sort of love-hate relationship that land bridges or any kind of bridges and I sort of have with each other. Sometimes they love to hate me and I hate to love them sometimes. <laughs> but I w this one is very simplistic. It's very, um, very straightforward. I used the um the festoon the vine festoon arches that you can craft in dinkum or if you've got the dev menu you can definitely dev them in now when it comes to decorating and speed build videos i do tend to use the dev menu just because it's quicker it's easier to get the items that i want in quick succession um, but if you're a vanilla player by all means do what you do boo i no shade, no problem whatsoever. But for the purposes of this video, and for most of my videos, I just use the dev menu because it is such a time saver. Especially when you're trying to get a build done quickly. <laughs> um, without losing A, your inspiration, and B, your enthusiasm. So, uh, that being said... I kind of placed these vine festoon arches on both sides just to kind of like we do in Animal Crossing, right? We're creating we're creating an illusion, we're creating this visual, we're creating a path of guidance on our island, right? So you can do a mix and match. You can do a land bridge leading into an actual bridge and it still have a cute little transition area in between definitely something that you can always keep in mind when you're doing any kind of aesthetic no matter what design you're going for i don't really have a theme for this particular island this save is kind of my um my speed build kind of design island where there's no that is the theme really it's a whole bunch of different speed builds with no real continuity and I'm okay with that but you know it may at some point develop into sort of a collaboration island where I just kind of use it for all of those you know speed builds collabs anything that I do um, in Dinkum so it might just be kind of um, <laughs> a free-for-all island if you will now I struggled a little bit, as you can tell, deciding on what I really wanted to do. Did I want the grass? Did I not want the grass? I wanted, of course, symmetry on both sides of this land bridge, and I was frustrated. Like, it took me well into the night in game <laughs> to figure out exactly how I wanted everything to look and sort of the placement of everything. And once I got it figured out, I love this sort of crude hard, the, the hardwood crude fence because it looks like log stakes, right? 
Now, there is another option. I didn't exactly put it in this video, but what you could do is if you didn't want to use the festoon arches and you just kind of wanted a, a really cute kind of cheeky little bridge, you could have used any kind of fencing to go along those sides. It, doesn't, it didn't have to be arches. Like I did arches just because I really like them aesthetically, I think, and it gives them great height and the sort of sense of grandeur as you're walking through them and you know it's very thematic like it is very um, niche right this would go on a very specific kind of island but you are you can definitely change out those arches and do just straight fencing along both sides and do you know kind of a little if you want to do like a really cute party arch light the festoon lights that would look really cute as well any kind of um, embellishment that you want to add is only going to enhance it it's not going to detract from it so what i'm doing is just kind of a base line idea you don't even have to use the same pathing like it's just you can do a straight shot. It doesn't have to be diagonal. I was trying to be fancy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But there you have it. I think it turned out really cute. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you on the next video. Bye!